Real people, real celebrities, real talk. Join the Breakfast Club. Weekday morning, 6 to 10. Morning, everybody. It's DJ NV Angela Yee, Charlemagne the Guy. We are the Breakfast Club. We have a special lady with us this morning. Actress, model, philanthropist, philanthropist, oh. heartbreaker. Oh, she fighter. got a shooter with her <laughs> <laughs> and shooter with her. Hey, why the shooter walk over here so fast? Oh, man, because you, because I'm sitting next to you. Oh. <laughs> Salida Ebay. <laughs> How are you, Salida? I'm blessed. How are you? I'm good. I'm good. Now, you're a real model. You're not like one of those urban models. She's not an Instagram model. Yeah, no, giving I'm the right. dookie shots in magazines. No, I take pictures of my face. Sports Illustrated swimsuit. Yes, Victoria yes, sir. Secret Angel. You yes, did the real stuff. Yes, sir. How did you get into that? Yes, sir. Um, I was scouted at 17. I uh, grew up in Staten Island. and uh, Staten Island, Shetland, wow. Shetland, stand up. Mm-hmm. Um, and, uh, you know, I had had dreams of modeling, but also being an entrepreneur. Uh, a lawyer and a journalist. I was interning at Spin Magazine at the time, and you know the Lord just opened up this door for me, and I just walked through. And my dad said to me, "This is a job, mm-hmm. it's a profession, mm-hmm. and so every year you just gotta work harder." Is it true you got discovered at Six Flags? I did. I did walking through the turnstile, looking a hot ass mess. Mm. So how that happened? Was, was... Mm. That's how it happens, though. Yeah. When you be outside, not all dressed up and done up, and then they be like, Nah, you. but who's seen you at Six Flags? How did that happen? Like, was, what was the story? Um, it was an, two agents. Mm-hmm. They, they took some girls out. They were homesick from, like, Austria or something. And I was walking through the turnstile, and they just tapped me on my shoulder, and they said, um, did you think, have you ever thought about modeling? Mm-hmm. And I that sounds like, like the worst line right, ever. Right, exactly. <laughs> so I was like, nah, nah, nah. I don't know. I ain't got no money. I'm not paying for no fake I portfolio. I ain't giving up no right. Oh, you can't say that on the radio, man. What's wrong with you? Bad. Worst behavior. Um, and yeah, no, they gave me their business card. They mm-hmm. took a Polaroid of me. I gave it to my dad. We molded over. I went into the agency. It turned out to be very legit. They gave me a contract on the spot, and uh, wow. the rest is history. What agency was this? I'd rather not say. I'm no mm-hmm. longer She's with not them. With them. Okay. How'd you know, know it was for real? Though? I know, right? How they come to me all the time in the mall. Nobody comes to you every All the time in the mall. They come, they all, you should be a model. Shut up. Go ahead. A model for what is the question? Shut right? up. Right, right, right. Is your shooter know he's on camera? Um, my shooter is the um, executive producer and creator of my new project, Celebrity Grounds. His name is Contract the Kaiser. What's mm-hmm. Celebrity Grounds? Celebrity Grounds is a new show that I'm uh, executive producing and hosting. Okay. Uh, we got an NBC cozy deal, pro- uh, distribution deal, and now we are on Kickstarter trying to raise a million dollars. A million dollars. A million dollars. Well, we already put in 900000 of our Ooh. own money. Okay. And uh, we could have went the... You know the traditional way and got backers and but the problem with that is that you don't own nothing right you mm-hmm. know they take they take full control and you just end up being a face on tv and say we want to own it you know they say god bless the child that has his own yes so why not see that's what your old boyfriend needs to do your old boyfriend kanye west needs to start a kickstarter you know and what? start big in corporate america <laughs> for I'm, money i'm gonna pray for you <laughs> <laughs> that is old boyfriend of yours though right um, you know what, Charlamagne, I'm going to see you after. <laughs> oh, I'm just outside. outside. <laughs> you know what, um, I'm here to uh, talk about you. Have you been watching Real Husbands of Hollywood? Absolutely. I love, I love your love role Real in that Husbands. show. I think it's hilarious. Thank you, boo. I think it's important to see that Selita does have a sense of humor. You know, a lot of people don't know that. I have seven brothers, and I grew up in a household of snots and wedgies and nuggies and a whole a You can whole give Charlamagne a, a wedgie right now or a I, nuggie, either or. My drawer's a little dirty. But, listen, <laughs> you, but I seen you I seen you doing an interview with Nick Cannon and when I first watched Real Husbands of Hollywood and saw you on there, I was like, How awkward is that that they're both on the right. show? But Why you guys, would it be awkward? No, it wasn't awkward for me. Because they were engaged, dummy. Yeah, like oh, twenty five yes. years ago. Um, he did that at Times time. Square too, right? He promoted. He, pro- yeah, yeah, he proposed in Times Square. Yeah. I felt yeah. bad for him. I felt like you just dissed him. <laughs> no, you know what? People don't know the real story. They just think like you broke he his proposed heart. and then you were like, eh. eh I yeah, thought you said yes yeah. though. Pardon? You did say yes. She right? said maybe. You can't say no when the things <laughs> are. Would you let her answer the question? <laughs> thank you, Angela. Thank you. I love you, baby. <laughs> I missed it. What happened? Somebody yeah, proposes to you on a jumbotron in Times right. Square. What are you supposed to what do? What are you supposed to say? No, if you don't want to marry him. Really? Yes. With like 14 cameras. At, uh, yes, he know. shouldn't have did that. He shouldn't have jumped out there if he didn't know what you were well, going to say. Well, you should, have, you should have tapped him on the shoulder. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Um, no, that was a long time ago. I was very young. He was young. Um, everything happens for a reason. It taught me a lot, especially with media, because, um, you know, y'all was brutal. I mean, I was called everything under the sun for just getting engaged. Um, but I was very young, and it was a lesson that I needed to help me develop very thick skin, so now I just don't give a sh- Damn. Um, <laughs> people, do, people do look at you as a heartbreaker, though. Oh, that's unfortunate. I mean, I don't know why. Because we just assume that these guys, you just 
kick him to the curb. You know, I just, I don't got, you know, I'm about my business, mm-hmm. as you can tell. That's why I'm here. To, don't you think it's hard everybody. to be in a relationship when you are a successful woman sometimes, too? Absolutely. And Terrence J. that's why y'all broke up, because he was too busy. <laughs> oh, oh, really? That's what he said? Yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, no, <laughs> 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 okay, Terrence in trouble. Right. Yeah, all right. Um, but no, you know, I like I said, I'm... I'm a very strong, independent woman. My father, his greatest advice to me is to let a man be a man. Mm -hmm. And that's the hardest thing for me to do because I don't, you know, I I like to just get things done. Don't tell me one thing, you ain't going to do it. I'm going to do it for you. Like, you know, show me something. Educate me. That's how man. She got the private jet. She flying you you on the jet. You've been making money, though. I have. It's been a long time. God has been good to me. Is it hard for you to deal with guys knowing that you've made bread and you have bread? And Like, a lot of these guys might be on the come up. No, because I'm, I'm, I, you know, I'm, I'm that chick that's always encouraging and supporting, and I'm like, you know, I, you know, we're supposed to be a team. Mm-hmm. So if I'm winning, you winning, you winning, I'm winning. Mm-hmm. So that's 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 how I look. It's at a little it, different though when you when you're making a couple million, I'm I making know. a couple hundred <laughs> thousand. Look like, ahead, well, boo boo, you keep going out there, you work harder. Well, no, well that's well that's between you and your ego. Exactly, I'm banging you know, a millionaire box. So what does it matter? I mean, <laughs> what is wrong with you? Oh, I'm saying, I'm just saying, I'm just speaking out loud. So don't worry about it. As usual. No, but Charlamagne is the type of person that will let a chick like pay for. It, you for damn for right, I would. He feels like if you make more than him, you should be paying for him. Well, guess what, Charlamagne? You paying every damn time. <laughs> Charlamagne really wants to marry a, a major league baseball player. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. That's what a bread at. Though. See, but, see, <laughs> see. That's what a bread at with the baseball player. See, <laughs> but I have a rule that I'm not paying for nothing if I'm out with somebody that's richer than me. Mm. I'll act like I'm a pig. And then they'd be oh, like, yeah. no. And they'd be like, no, no, I got it. And you'd be like, cool. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> now, let's talk about real husbands. Was it awkward, though, working with Nick being that was your... Um, no, absolutely not. You know, um, if anything, I admire him greatly. Uh, his, he's, he works so hard. You it know? looked a little awkward on Katie Court. Well, it was probably for him. Gotcha. But, but not so much for me. Um, mm-hmm. I was good. I was just happy to be there in the company of great... Great uh, comedians and actors. I mean, Kevin Hart has been so great to me. Um, everyone at BET is so supportive, and they definitely encouraged me um, to step outside of my my little box when it comes to acting and just you know be myself and be crazy and silly. Throw a little hood hood in there. Oh, we know you hood, okay? No, no we, you probably know. We hear about you putting the beats on people in <laughs> oh, Miami nightclub. Oh, <laughs> <man. Okay. laughs> yeah, where did you learn how to fight? We, we, I got seven brothers. Damn, <laughs> you grew up in the hood in, though, right? In the Caribbean. Yes. Oh, out, West Indian. There it goes. That's the reason yeah. right there. And mm-hmm. Shaland, you know. Like you really grew West up in the Brighton, ghetto. New Brighton, yeah. She shot out the areas in yeah, Shaland. You know. <laughs> what um, made you transcend your circumstances, though? What made you? What gave you the vision to say, "I, I want to be bigger than this"? Um, you know what? When I was uh, about six or seven years old, um, living here in New York, my mother and put us in the Fresh Air Fund, mm-hmm. and they have a. Uh, I support them now because I, what they what they showed me was so amazing. It definitely changed my life. They have a program where they send inner city youth out to Virginia, and that's where I discovered upper middle class. Mm-hmm. And I said, "Well, hold up, this house is really nice." <laughs> <laughs> I said, "Y'all, y'all all sit around the table with it." It was just corn, but you know, you know, white people—they just a little weird sometimes. <laughs> but, um, but I love them. You need them to get ahead. Listen, I love them. Um, but you know, that's—I think—that's where my first inspiration came from. And then also, I've always been very active in the um, the world of arts, like dance, acting. Like, I'm, my, if my mom had company, her company had to endure at least ten minutes mm-hmm. of me doing cartwheels and uh, soca dancing and mm-hmm. all type of lip syncing. Gotcha. So, um, but yeah, I've always aspired to. Um, be successful. So you promote the Fresh Air Fund? Absolutely. Because I, I was, I was kind of nervous about the Fresh Air Fund because, I mean, they came, a couple families asked if I would do it, but I was like, you know, you bring kids from the hood that don't have nothing in your oh crib. <laughs> well, <laughs> Let's be honest. What is wrong with Let's you? Let's be honest. Andy, you were one of those kids one time. I was, and I'm thinking, oh, if I went to somebody's guys. house... Oh, little thieves. <laughs> <laughs> hey. Metal detective, but hold up, hold up. Wind down. <laughs> no, kids are just kids are product of their environment. You know, kids only do what they can, what they think mm-hmm. they can get away with. Mm-hmm. You know, it's important to show kids something <laughs> bigger and better in life, and to see role models, people Absolutely. like you that came from, you know, down here to make right. it and be successful. Absolutely. Tell me about your commit and proceed philosophy. Oh yeah, no, listen, I've you know I. Uh, I learned that on set of Runaway and they, how do you watch this video by the way if you don't know yes short film um, <laughs> get it right <laughs> bang bang um, but no it's 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 so true 
you know, especially with this project, Celebrity Grounds, I was very nervous about it because we are asking the the world to help fund this project so we can own it, uh, six episodes on uh, Cozy TV. Um, it's very scary, you know, when you're mm -hmm. putting yourself out there in any project that I work on, whether it's walking down the Victoria's Secret runway or if it is Celebrity Grounds. You know, it, it's very scary. So I always tell myself, you know, I learned that, like I said, on Runaway, on the set of Runaway, commit and proceed. Because mm -hmm. as long as you commit yourself to something, you just got to proceed. You can't look back. You can't think about the, oh, but what if, and blah, blah, blah. Just always put your best foot forward and just keep it moving. If it doesn't happen, at least you learn something in the process. That's how I feel when I have unprotected sex. What? I oh, commit to taking this condom off, and I proceed to go in so with your With your fiancé, I assume. Are we engaged? I don't know what she's talking about. Wait a about. second. <laughs> Why are you engaged? I don't know what she's talking about. Why are you, are you engaged? Yes or no? This, this is awkward. Did you no. Your base, did you find your major league baseball player? <laughs> no, not yet. I'm still looking. Matt Kemp just got swooped up by Chloe. So I don't know who I want now. Now, what was your worst experience on the uh, runway? Did you ever fall? Did you bust your ass? Like, what was the worst thing that you yeah, always remember? Positive up I'm just, I'm just, it's, just, it's a joke. I just um, want to know. No, I've, I've been... Knock on wood. I'm this hard <laughs> um, I've been so blessed to never have never fell. Wow. I'm, I definitely lost a shoe. Mm -hmm. the, ankle, the ankle wobbled a little bit, mm -hmm. but for me, it was one year I did Victoria's Secret, and um, I that was the year I think I wore the the. $4.5 million. Yes, a $4.5 million <laughs> bra and panty set. And I had a green, like, Christmas tree cape. Mm -hmm. And in the finale, it was so long I couldn't wear it out on the runway, so mm -hmm. I had to take it off. And I'm walking out, and I realized I was wearing a thong. Mm. And, Dookie you know, shot. <laughs> mm -hmm. And, you know, it's kind of like, eh, like, what, what are you going to do? Not go out there? This is the finale. They're mm -hmm. filming. This costs millions of dollars to film this production. And so I just walked out there. But in my mind, I was freaking out. But I'm sure when the camera saw me, I was the most confident woman in the world. I know your man was pissed off. My, my daddy was in. Oh, your daddy was there. <laughs> Damn it, man. He's like, that's my baby right there. Yeah, he my definitely didn't say that. Oh, no. He was closing his eyes. Did somebody buy that $4.5 million LeBron no, panty set? No, no one never bought it. What was it for? Them. It's just, you know, it's it's fun. It's something different. It's never been done before. And it's, it's I guess it's part of a tradition now. Gotcha. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So what happened with Victoria's Secret? Did you just grow out of that situation? You um, you know, I did it for a very long time, five years. Um, it's just something that, you know, it's time to move on. It's time. You it's know. a nice run. It, yeah, yeah, definitely. Mm -hmm. I mean, for, you know, I got to wear the million dollar bra. I, you know, I was face of fragrances and I was in the show for five years. And I have to tell you, the industry is so short on brown faces um, mm -hmm. on that runway. So I was, I'm very honored to be a part of that and a part of history and all that great stuff and sexy women world. What do you think about some of the models now? I look at some of these advertisements, and some of these models look horrible. Like, oh, it seems like that's the end thing. I don't know none of the names, but, oh, okay. but it seems like so, like that's the end thing, like the ugly faces. No, it's not true. Where did you hear that? Like, it's not what I heard one, it. What's that one black girl with the little short hair? Oh, boy. What's don't her do name? that. Don't what? do that. What's the girl name, man? Don't do that. There's a black you talking about that, that? She looks African. Let me Google. About... All I'm going to do is Google you know, ball. Listen, hands. I think in modeling, they look for unique faces. Alekwet. Alekwet. First of all, oh, Alekwet is major. Y'all are crazy. Yeah, she's yeah, she major, but that's, I mean, I'm just saying. She's gorgeous. I think she her has skin a great is look. flawless. Her body's crazy. Her fa facial features are so distinct. She don't look like nobody else in the world. And that's I'm the point. I'm ashamed of you and Envy for saying yeah, that. I didn't say her. I just said that some of the models on the you screen guys. just don't look pretty. If you look at some of these billboards, they don't look crazy. They look ugly to me just my opinion they yeah, don't look the, beautiful well, the they don't, they don't, I don't see beauty that's why we all have opinions you're right <laughs> very true alright now Salida I gotta ask you when we had Terrence up here I asked him what happened I love seeing you two together Oh, thanks. you guys are a nice couple I used to see y'all out and about thanks. and I said why did y'all break up and he got all flustered yeah, he, was like, oh. man, he started ratchet, tearing man. Ah, well that might be true <laughs> like she beat up the girl in the club I had to like oh ain't nobody got beat up relax <laughs> <laughs> bye Felicia um, <laughs> but um you know, uh, like I said, everything takes its, you know, has its time and its course. You know, he had to move on. He went to L.A. He's a big, better things. E! News, doing it big. Um, you know, shout out to him. You see that? His... See, that's that little pat on the ass when you walk out the house. Go ahead, you go yeah, do, go your, do thing. your little thing. Yeah, go do your little thing. Do your little E! News thing. Yeah, don't pat him on the little ass. He's doing big things. See, that's the problem. Oh, come on, y'all. No, it's great. Um, so it was him moving? No, it was just a lot of things. You know, I had to foc I focus more on my acting. Mm -hmm. um, which he acts too. Yeah, you know, <laughs> but he's contracted to E! News, so he... Oh, shit. You ripped your Sorry. dress. Sorry, I done messed up my cute little skirt. Red panties? No, shut up. <laughs> <laughs> they red. Anyway, um, yeah, no, at time, you know, things just... We just 
decide to do our own things. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, a lot of times in relationships, I think people tend to um, put the other person in front of them, and they lose focus of what they need to do. So I think a little bit of that was happening. And um, you know, like I said, if I it's allowed me to now be in this seat, right? Um, talking about Kickstarter. Oh, y'all go to Kickstarter <laughs> backslash Celebrity Grounds. What is Celebrity Grounds about? Just so people know, Celebrity Grounds is a new show that. Uh, Contractor Kaiser and I put together. It is a makeover show. If you think of uh, MTV Cribs meets um, Extreme Homemaker makeover with a splash of what is it? Uh, lifestyles of the rich and famous. Lifestyles of the rich and famous. Mm. So I'm gonna go up in all these celebrities' houses, dig in their fridge, try on their shoes. Oof. If they got any couture, I'm taking it home. Well, um, <laughs> okay. <laughs> and um, <laughs> you know, it's just a really fun show we're putting together. And the great thing is that the celebrity will show us a space, at their bathroom, kitchen, or what uh, their man cave they want to do over. And con contract uh, Kaiser is gonna come in and basically take it to a whole nother level. Um, mm. But at the same time, the celebrity has to be involved involved in somewhat of their reconstruction and um it's you just use that yeah it's just yeah mm -hmm. hey listen holla <laughs> what you working it's on right the show too <laughs> yes i was um i was well, actually you know it's so funny you brought that up. i was thinking about that the other day i recorded a uh a few episodes for a reality show for style but style got sold by uh bought by esquire gotcha. and i kind of see it as a blessing because, you know, as much as I love coming up here and talk to you guys or all that stuff, I'm never really the person to tweet my personal business or Instagram too much personal or talk too much about my personal life. I, I hold it very sacred. And so in doing a reality show about my life, I was freaked out. My <laughs> management, my acting management, my, my modeling agency, everyone had to sit me down and give me a good pep talk and tell me why this was going to be great. You know, I have so many projects. It was a great platform to promote my projects, but it didn't happen. And I I kind of see it as a blessing in disguise because I still get to, you know, work on great projects. Like, It'd be interesting to see you and your seven brothers, though. <sighs> Child, you that no. There's gonna, <laughs> there's gonna be beep 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 every three. And then gonna have uh, he's gonna have like subtitles on the bottom because we're gonna be speaking in patois, so none of y'all gonna know what we're talking about. Like shutters. Yes. <laughs> How did you ever lose your virginity with seven brothers? <laughs> they probably was keeping every penis away from you. <laughs> you know what? It's funny. They beat me up a lot when I was a kid. <laughs> and then once I got to a certain age where I realized I could hit back, mm -hmm. then I started beating them up. Gotcha. And then I realized I just beat up my bro my boyfriends. And so it was cool. They never used to Nothing. give your boyfriends a hard time when they would come over? Um, I didn't really... I wasn't allowed to wear lip... I wasn't allowed to wear cherry chapstick until I was 17 years old. Damn. Wow. Yes. So my dad. See, this is chat. Yeah. <laughs> no, I can't. <laughs> <laughs> original, yes. original. No, no, no color. Original. No, <laughs> it's funny you said because I'm kind of obsessed with chapstick. Thank you. It's I addictive. Am. It is. Now yeah. you said that you're physical. So when you went to in this relationship with your boyfriends, let's say any anybody, you 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 really effed them up, huh? When y'all wrestling, no. fight, no, uh, play, play, know, play, play. Yeah, not not really play. Playing. I like to. I like to get physical. I like to wrestle. I like to. Like you, you know, put Terrence J in a headlock before. Yeah. You definitely made Kanye cry, I'm sure. <laughs> Sensitive as he is. Something's wrong with you guys. No, you know what? I'm I'm not I'm not that girl. As as much as I love my stilettos mm -hmm. and eyelashes and lipstick and all that girly stuff, I do love putting on my sneakers mm -hmm. and like I just had a snow fight last night. I got beamed in the stomach, it hurt mm -hmm. like hell, felt mm -hmm. like I was shot. But it was fun. Mm -hmm. You know, sometimes I have bruises and whatever and I'm just kinda like, Oh well, it'll heal. Put some arnica on it. Do you fought around your boyfriend? What is wrong with you? I'm serious. I don't know. If she has to. I mean, <laughs> God, listen. Ew, you I ever did, have you ever dated a white guy? No. That's so funny you say that. No, I've never seen a penis. <laughs> You've never seen a what? A pink penis. Oh. <laughs> oh, okay. You might, you might want to try it. You might want to try it. What'd you say, Yee? I think it's time to make a switch. Really? Because I've been right. thinking at myself. Oh, you going to do it? You going to date a white guy, Yee? time to move right. on, right? Yeah. Trying to, time to venture out into the Is it hard for you to find a man, though? Are you no, kidding? No, I wouldn't say it's hard to find a man. It's just hard to find a man with some common sense. Got you. Mm -hmm. yeah. It's kind of hard to date you, somebody that you feel like is worthwhile. Yeah, it probably is hard to date Because your birthday is the 15th. No, the 17th. Oh, the 17th. That's on the internet. That's what I'm saying. The internet's just full of lies. Well, it's still too close to Valentine's Day either way. Yeah, and I don't play that. It's two separate days. Damn. I gotta get you two different <laughs> gifts? Yes. See, that's messed up. That's why it's hard want... to date people like her. <laughs> no, it's not. And two Salita gifts. Not not no... Yeah, yeah. I can't just get you balloons and nope. a bag on Valentine's Day. That could happen. get you a real gift on What's the What's the best gift you ever got? Ooh. Who was it from? I'm not telling you guys. This says what the gift was. Though. And who she dated now? Let's put it uh, with Kanye. I'm not dating anyone right now. Nick? Crickets. 
Terrence. Crickets. What's the dude from the Giants with that crazy name? Osa Yuminora. Osa Yuminora. Osa Yuminora. You've gotten some great gifts. I did. Um, I, like, I like diamonds. And oh, boy. <laughs> you tapping out now. <laughs> diamonds. You just saw that diamonds, Salita? Well, I mean, the ones that start with the V and end with an S. Mm. Got you. Um, he don't know what that means. He don't know what that means. Yeah. Charlamagne don't know what that means. He just knows that's Remy. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> How long does it take you to get ready when you go out? It took me 15 minutes this morning. <laughs> Yeah, because be nice. That's because I didn't try to glue on no lashes. I'm not good with the lashes. Did you show them? Yes. <laughs> okay. But that's what we talking about. It's yes. gonna take you 15 minutes to do I look, all that. Does it look like I comb my hair? <laughs> no. I put this little rubber band in there. I put a little concealer, little lipstick, and mascara, and I'm out doing my outfit. Well, you look amazing. I did lotion, thank God. <laughs> Thank you, Charlemagne. Yeah. You look very nice yourself. No, I don't. Oh, you don't got a lot of <laughs> yeah. You know, the all black is got the Tim's fresh, clean. He was talking about getting some <laughs> some knee high tips. That's a damn lie. <laughs> <laughs> That's a damn, I would pay that. That is a damn some money. lie. I was <laughs> asking because I know somebody who wanted some, and I was like, yo, oh, they are corny. Tall oh, Tim's. <laughs> He wants the one with the wedges. He came in here and said, yo, should I get these knee-high Should I get these Manolo blondes? <laughs> he was definitely talking about knee-high Tim's earlier this morning. I absolutely was not. <laughs> okay, stop telling those lies. That's funny. We appreciate you joining us this morning. And they can Thank go to Kickstarter you. to find out yes. how to donate to Tell the Tell them project. again. Kickstarter backslash Celebrity Grounds. And also, if you guys go to our Facebook page, we are giving away a $50,000 home makeover to not a celebrity, to anybody out there in the world. So just email us. Somebody like me. Yes, everybody, anybody. Okay. If you got a bathroom, a kitchen, or, but mind you, you have to own your home. <laughs> we ain't coming up in your apartment. That you're renting. <laughs> Damn, um, own your home, and we will come in there and make over your man cave or your uh, ladies, your closet, because I know for sure I'm, Kaiser's coming up in my closet, please. Because I need some new shoe shelves. But, um, but yeah, no. Um, it's a great opportunity, and it's a great show. And I thank you all for those that will pledge some money to us. And just know that you will definitely be listed as an associate producer on our show. Wow. And, um, yeah, it's really great. So, Kickstarter backslash Celebrity Grounds. All right. It's the Breakfast Club. It's Miss Alita Ebanks. Thank you. <laughs>